welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cami, and I am a chronically online college student. And this video is the last installment of this series of alternative assignments for my Philosophy 8 class. During this 15-week semester, this course has explored the world's major religions and their origins and significant ideas, as well as their impact on today's world. In this final video, I will be reflecting on the impact of this course on my life in our concluding presentation called The Examined Life. This course has changed my life in so many positive ways. I know that I have grown not only academically, but spiritually as well. And I have such a deeper understanding of so many new and wonderful beliefs and ideas and faiths. In exploring this understanding, I've also had so many opportunities to confront my own prejudices and backwards beliefs. I've been able to confront stereotypes with truth, and I'm so excited to talk about these things and be purely reflective and introspective. You heard that right. No concept overview, vocabulary terms, or quotations. This is all from the heart and from the brain. To start, I want to say that Dr. Glorian's essays inspired a multitude of new ideas and ways of thinking for me, and they sparked so many profound and lengthy conversations with my loved ones on the topics and ideas and intricacies of these faiths that we studied. Throughout the semester, I've spent tens, if not hundreds, of cumulative hours talking about philosophical ideas ideas related to the world's religions as well as which perspectives we grew up around and if and how they've changed over our lives. Every week I would talk with my mom and she would open my mind to a fountain of knowledge that you can only truly understand by walking through life. She helped me regularly with script review and proofreading as well as helping me fine-tune my comedy bits and reminding me when I either needed to tone the content down or add a disclaimer. And I deeply enjoyed our ever-evolving discussions on Buddhism and other cosmic faiths. I'd also talk with my boyfriend weekly about our modules, and he'd regularly help me process through my pre-rational thinking and assist me in reaching more rational perspective, even on ideas that I had initially disagreed with. He's also always been the first person to get my video links because he's always the first to give me constructive criticism about my videos so that they could continue to improve in editing and in content. Unfortunately, though, I still haven't been able to get a single video under 20 minutes, so... I also had many wonderful talks with my grandmother about her faith and her belief on other faiths, and I've been able to have something to talk about consistently this semester because of this course and what I've been learning from these modules and how much I've taken away. Over Mother's Day weekend, I had so many interesting and enlightening conversations with my boyfriend and his family about Buddhism and Christianity, and specifically on Sunday, over Mother's Day weekend, I had a surprisingly wonderful and enlightened conversation with my boyfriend's niece and nephew, as well as his mom. We were playing in the living room and they had this ball that had Bible trivia questions on it. And the kiddos were tossing it around in the living room and, and they wanted to be quizzed. But once the questions got more difficult, I kind of took over and I took it as a bit of a challenge to see how many I could answer correctly based on my knowledge of the scripture. And I did surprisingly well. I want to say there were only two, maybe three, that I did not know the answer to. And it was wonderful to be able to just turn around and ask Stephen's mom for the answers that I didn't know because I know how well versed she is in scripture. And this game time also lent itself to a teaching moment with the kiddos. For example, when asked the question, who found Jesus' body missing from the tomb, I knew that the answer was Mary Magdalene. And I got to tell the kids one of my favorite takeaways from Dr. Glorian's essay about Jesus and his teachings, that at his crucifixions, all his male disciples left him, but his mother and his alleged wife, Mary Magdalene, were the ones that stayed behind. And after the kids had tuned out and gone and done their own thing, Stephen's mom and I had a wonderful discussion on how Jesus was actually really awesome, even for somebody who doesn't identify as Christian, and how pro-woman he was, and how great that is. With his mom, I've been very grateful to have a very spiritual connection with her, where 
we've been able to talk about beliefs and be open and understanding and questioning of each other. And I greatly value that relationship. I love that this course has been a way for me to enrich myself academically as well as socially and spiritually by being able to have hours long conversations about philosophy, the meaning of life and death and the great unknown. I have been able to know the people I love so much deeper now by being able to ask questions that I would have never thought to have asked before taking this class. In my introductory essay, I said, quote, I have no strong religious beliefs. I self identify as pagan or agnostic, which to me means that I lean towards earth based spirituality. But overall, I'm uncertain about the right answers about a higher power. End quote. And I still feel this way. I have no religious affiliation. And though earlier in that introductory essay, I had mentioned religious deconstruction, in part because of this course, I've made the conscious decision to change my mind. And rather than deconstructing my religious beliefs, I'm going to reconstruct them. I learned early on through this course that it's tiring to try and prove everything wrong. So now I'm far more interested in approaching things with a maybe it's all correct perspective and being open to learning rather than being open to being proved wrong. And by doing this, I take the pressure off of myself as well as the people I hope to engage with in order to learn. I don't want to have to go into every conversation ready to disprove someone's faith like a Twitch debate streamer. I can let go and open myself up to understanding and a more enlightened perspective now. If you were to ask me to pin down a label, I'd say no thank you because I now believe that all faiths have the possibility to be right and that the perspectives of the loudest voices in a specific religion shouldn't necessarily influence my faith, at least not without my further exploration of all opinions and reaching a conclusion that feels right for me. And who even says I need a conclusion? I can be perfectly fine now with just not knowing. I don't need an answer. So many people have an answer and I can learn from what they believe and question for the rest of my life and be okay with that. And thanks to this course, I have a newfound respect and admiration for the monotheistic faiths that I didn't have before despite growing up in one of them. And even though I now feel even more drawn to cosmic faiths and polytheistic religions, I'm excited to learn more about all of them. Specifically, I found myself being so drawn to Buddhism and I'm so excited to learn more about it. And I've kind of already started. I've watched so many more Pema Chodron talks and I've purchased this book, Living Buddha, Living Christ, to dive even deeper into understanding what Buddhism is. And while I haven't made time to actually read this yet, I'm so excited to dive in this summer and hopefully start making a dent on my ever-growing book wish list of religious philosophy. I was a curious cat before this class, but now I have so many more questions and I'm so excited to explore and hear what other people say because I know that even within one faith or one denomination of a faith, I can find so many people with a different perspective on their scripture and on their beliefs. And I'm so excited to learn and know new people. Another huge takeaway that I'm going to carry with me forever from this course is a much more layered ability to think critically and rationally. And I know that those kind of seem like synonyms, but let me explain. Before this class, I thought I had good critical thinking abilities because I was trying to prove everything wrong. But I realized through the duration of this course that my critical thinking was often clouded by pre-rational emotions or biases based on misinformation or disinformation or just plain ignorance. It sounds so stupid, I know, but thanks to this course, I've been able to improve some of the most boring of my life choices, like limiting and full out banning distractions during my study time and intelligently managing my time. Like, yeah, I want to go play video games or I want to go bowling or waste my time that's scheduled for school, but now I can more confidently decide how to moderate and enjoy my distractions and free time while still managing work and school and, well, not really a social life, but when finals are over, we'll get to that. We get it. <laughs> to go even further, thanks to my improved critical thinking skills, I'm not as easily persuaded by every eye-catching headline or fast-talking news anchor. Now I'm able to rationally dissect their perspective, evaluate their possible prejudices, and do my own research 
on the topic at hand to reach my own opinion. Even if it ends up being the same as that fast talking news anchor, at least I know that I reached my own opinion instead of just blindly following someone because they said so and they believed it. I plan to utilize these new skills by adapting the way I engage with those who I believe are uninformed or willfully ignorant. We all have them in our life and I feel like with these new skills it's going to be so much easier. For me, the ignorance and misinformation no longer needs to be fought like a war or argued like a debate. I can understand now where their perspectives are rooted and try to meet them with educated and civil discussion. And again, if it doesn't work, at least I tried. One of Dr. Glorian's prompts for this concluding assignment that popped right out at me was, has your academic experience enriched your life? And my initial answer was yes and how. At face value, I feel far more intelligent and enlightened than I did before taking this course. And with this knowledge, I feel that I'm able to educate people who may be uninformed about the true core values of these faiths that we've covered. I also feel like I now have the ability to properly search and explore and find new truths about religions that we didn't cover in this course. And whether my attempts are effective on these hypothetical people or not, I hope that I, at the very least, have planted a seed that can sprout into a desire to develop a deeper understanding and deeper knowledge, like this class has done for me. I also now face the world more excited than ever to step out into the world, which is totally out of my comfort zone, and meet new people of different faiths and religions and learn from them. I want to learn from them. I want to pray with them. And maybe one day we could all be a part of a multi-faith community that's dedicated to spreading understanding and acceptance for every faith, knowing that at the core of all of these faiths are the teachings of love, service to our communities, and positive and meaningful connections with each other. My personal philosophy has always been that we are put on this plane of existence to learn, but now my position has slightly changed. I believe we are given the opportunity of life to love, to learn, to understand, to grow communities, and to teach one another. And your approach of teaching and learning may look different than mine, but I think we all desire to see the same thing. To see a world that is a loving, helpful, safe, and joyous place. And I truly believe that the more we open ourselves to learning, we have a much better chance of creating that place. And I know, even if I can't save the world, I know I can make a meaningful impact in my world, thanks to this course. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This series was a blessing and a challenge to make, and I took so much away from all of it. I will most definitely be carrying what I've learned from this course into my daily life for the rest of my life. I feel so incredibly blessed to have been given this opportunity by Dr. Glorian to explore his course in a unique and creative way that has allowed me to learn and understand and engage in a way that I never would have been able to if I had only been writing essays. And I thank you, my viewers, for sharing your time with me every week and keeping an open mind. I hope that you were able to learn something through this series, and while I don't know what's coming for this channel next, if anything, I hope that I can continue to create educational, creative, and funny videos to share my love of learning with the world. Thank you so much for joining me, and with that, the video's over. Enjoy summer break. Bye.